Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I have finally upgraded to Windows 11 version 22H2. And I must be quite honest, I've had some challenges today, um, mainly regarding my video and audio recording. And um, that's why this video is a little bit late. And I also wanted to talk about version 22H2 today, but never got that far due to all the teething problems upgrading. But nonetheless, um, bar one or two little issues that I will sort out over the next couple of days, I think I'm good to go with version 22H2 now. And um, the purposes of the video, um, this video, is just to tell you that and um, with all the hype that was all uh, surrounding the rollout of uh, version 22H2 of Windows 11, Microsoft actually rolled out an optional bug fix update on the 20th as well yesterday. Uh, in my region for Windows 11 version 21H2 and uh, it's more or less the same fixes that rolled out f uh, as I did post on earlier today that rolled out for Windows 10 and um, if we just head to the release notes that's KB5017383 and um, it pushes version uh, 21H2's build to 22000.1042 now and uh, um, it's the same update I posted on a couple of days ago that was finalized, been finalized in the release preview channel. So it's more or less exactly the same update. Now, um, just to take note of one or two things. This update, 5017383, has got nothing to do with Windows 11 version 22H2, the feature update. Um, there has been a little bit of confusion um, where it's appearing alongside the feature update in Windows Update for some users. And um, some users are thinking that this update is the actual feature update. No, it's not. The feature update and this update are two different things. So if you are seeing this update in on your Windows Update page with Windows 11 version 21H2, this is an optional bug fix C release update that Microsoft has pushed out and has got nothing to do with the feature update for version 22H2. So just take note of that. Now, um, this is an optional bug fix update, so you don't have to install it. And as I suggest, um, every month only install these optional bug fix updates um, if you are experiencing any issues with your operating system. Else, just ignore the update as most of the fixes and improvements will be rolled out next month um, on the second Tuesday um, for the compulsory um, Patch Tuesday cumulative update rolling out on the second Tuesday of October. Now, um, the key highlight for the update for Windows 11 version 21H2 is that it adds more dynamic content to the taskbar notification badge in for the widget. So um, now when you get an, you see a notification badge, um, uh, you will see a banner here now if you open the widgets board just uh, at the top of the widgets board telling you what that notification was all about and what triggered that notification. So, so that's a, a new feature that's rolled out for version 21H2. And there's also just other one minor new feature to mention. Um, they, they've introduced web authentication redirection, which lets you authenticate in apps and on websites without a password when you use remote desktop. And that also rolled out for Windows 10. Now, just to go through um, the key bug fixes that have been made available, um, uh, and, and as mentioned, the, some of them are very similar to Windows 10. Um, there was an issue that required uh, users to reinstall an app if they didn't get the app from the Microsoft Store. That has been fixed. Uh, there was an error that was uh, causing a blue screen. If um, some users were using more than one display, that's been fixed. There are two Internet Explorer mode issues that have been addressed. The first is an issue that forced forces the Internet Explorer mode tabs in a session to reload. That's been fixed. And the second was an issue that affected Internet Explorer mode after um, a PDF file was opened. So Microsoft says when you try to open a different page using the same browser window, uh, the page didn't open in the um, in that browser window. And um, there was an issue that could cause a black screen to appear on your display that might occur when um, you use a pen or turn on hard dynamic range HDR. That's been fixed. And uh, there's a touch uh, keyboard issue that's been addressed when you uh, tap to switch apps. Um, that was affecting the touch keyboard. That's been addressed. And then a, a known issue that's finally been addressed um, was uh, an issue that was affecting the daylight saving time in Chile. And there's also another known issue, just to close off this video, that's been addressed that was um, been nagging some users for some time where... Um, there was a known issue that was affecting XML paper specification XPS 
viewers that's been addressed. So that's it. Um, that's a quick review of KB5017383, uh, which rolled out for Windows 11 version 21H2 on the 20th. And um, also, if you are looking for the update in the Microsoft Update Catalog to download and install it manually, at this stage, it's not available. So some weird things going on with that. But nonetheless, it is available in Windows Update if you would like to install the update. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.